lecture, I'm going to discuss about how to connect Microsoft SQL Server database with IICS in Informatica. So let's uh, open the Informatica administrator. So here I'm using connection tabs. So three connections that I created. So in last video there I create my SQL database connection. So first we need to check on this runtime environment is there secure as in running or not so on this runtime environment or uh, this uh, here as in group secure as in that's running after that let's go on this connection then after let's click on this new connection so there i'm going to connect with the sql server so let's write there sql server underscore com so here description that's option but let's give you connecting with sql server and there going to select microsoft sql server then you can get this all so here runtime environment first you need to select then after sql server version so you can see this list of version is there if I go on this command prompt and if I write there SQL CMD and uh, the next is writing the query select at the rate twice term version right there go then you can see I am using Microsoft SQL Server 2022 so this is the latest version I am using 2022. So no need to worry about these things. If 2022 is not in the list, let's select here SQL Server 2019. Then or uh, this here, you can use SQL Server authentication, Windows authentication. So let's use here. If you know username and the password, then you should use your SQL Server authentication. Domain that is optional, no need to give username. Let's give you a SA and give the password. Host. So if I go on this SQL SSMS, so from there you can easily identify host and your database name. So server name that is low or this unit you can give. Let's little bit minimize and now click on this connection. Then you can see server name. You can give here this uh, username. Or uh, so let's uh, select here SQL Server authentication. So login with the SA user. And uh, after that, let's click here. Let's click on this connect. So this is connected. And if I go on this disconnect, click on this connect. Then this place server name. So server name or host name, you can give the local host or you should copy this. So here going to write the host. You can give your PC name or let's give your local host. Because I'm connecting with the local system that so that giving the local host. Or you can give this place IP address. So database name going to check there. So let's uh, connect first. So this uh, database that's eleven sys db and Adam. So going to give here the database Adam. And inside Adam, what exactly is the schema? So by default, DBO schema is there. So if I go on this table, then you can see SSMA DBO is not there, HR is there. So you can give HR DBO. So they're going to give uh, HR. So this is in capital letter. Let's give you HR in the capital letter. Code page, you can select. So UTF-8 is fine. And after filling this all detail, here port 1433 by default, Let's go, click on this test connection. So
So here, this is testing. So since I'm using uh, uh, this SQL Server 2022, so on 2022, then uh, their port number is 1434. But if you are using low version, by default, the port is now 1433. Okay, so here, let's check this first. If that connected, that's fine. And if I scroll down, here you can see this all description are available. So here you can see this is related with the problem related with the port. So here, let's give 1434. So before I'm going to test connection, here you can see this is the list detail on available. You can uh, read about SQL Server Windows article in the AI video. This all descriptions are available. Now, uh, 1434, because I'm using this place, SQL Server 2022. Now, if I click on this test connection, so that here you can see uh, it's successful. And after that, you need to click on this save button. So new connection that's added there, connection saved successfully. And if I go on this connection tab, here you can see SQL Server connection that's uh, created here. So local host, this is port number and this is database item. So if you want to do any changes, then click on this edit here. You can uh, give any meaningful name. So if I like, like let's include there SQL Server connection and this all you can change according to the requirement. And uh, let's go back here, saving. And the next is the uh, here SQL Server authenticate. This is if you want to make the copy of this one, you need to click there. And this is here. For dependencies, I will discuss later. This is for delete and here this is the permission. So this is the most uh, simplest way we can connect SQL Server database with IICS Informatica. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.